welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to hide and unhide columns in excel using vb script in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started Today I'm going to work with this excel file right and here you can see that we have some columns which is first name last name company name etc and now what I want to do is I want to hide those rows where you know the role in the company is analyst right I want to hide those rows so how can I do that to do that what I will do is I will go to the power automate desktop and before that I will close this file as well now in power automate desktop I will go to scripting and drag the run VB script action now what I will do is I will create an object to do that I will use set keyword and I will name it as obj excel and then create object excel dot application the next is open the workbook I will name this object as workbook I will use excel object to open the workbook so I will use workbooks dot open and here I will specify the path of the file in the D drive I have a folder which is named as sample files and here I have this file which is named as challenge I'll go to the home and then I will click on the copy path and in the VB script I will paste that path right now the next line will be to activate the worksheet to find the worksheet where I'm going to work so I will create an object which is going to be worksheet is equals to workbook object dot sheets and I want the first uh, worksheet right so I will specify the index of it so the worksheet index starts with one right it does not start with zero now what I want to do is I want to show that Excel file to make its visibility true so that it can appear on the screen so I will use obj excel dot visible is equals to true okay so now the next line is going to be I am going to apply a loop on all the data which is available on the cell so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that okay for each cell in and I'm going to use worksheet dot used range so now when you use the used range property it will uh, find all the data right which is available in the worksheet and the end is going to be the next now what I want to do is I want to say that if cell dot value is equals to analyst right as we saw in that file we have to whenever we find the value as analyst we want to hide that you know the row 
so I will make it this I will make it as if cell dot values equals to analyst then and if and inside that I'm going to write my code so this is going to be cell dot entire row dot it has hidden property so hidden is equals to true right so you have to write only this much and now I'm going to run the bot So my bot is running now it has launched that excel file now here you can see that there is no such row which has the you know which has the value as analyst right and if yet if I just pull it down a little bit then you will be able to see that we have a row number six and the value is analyst the same thing goes here if i pull it down you will see that it has the values analyst and the you know so the value is analyst and it was hidden right so we can say that you know my bot is working fine when i'm trying to hide the rows correct what if I want to what if I want to hide columns right that also can be done and for that what I have to do is first of all I will close this excel file And I will open the VB script action and here instead of entire row what I will do is I will make it as entire column you have to make sure that you're writing the correct spelling of the entire column otherwise it will not work so now I will click on save and I will run the bot and now here you can see that it has hidden the column which is having the values in a list right so column D is hidden because that was the column which was having that role in company correct so this is how you can you know hide the rows and columns using the VB script in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section Thank you for watching. Have a great day.